This is Tomo News for Monday, September 18th. All aboard! India's old-school railroad system is about to get one hell of a boost as the country begins its high-speed rail project with a little help from the Japanese. India has begun construction on its first Japanese bullet train line, which will stretch 508 kilometers from the city of Amenabad to the financial center of Mumbai on the country's western coast. The line is expected to be finished by 2023 and will cut travel time between the two cities down to three hours from the current eight. The new train will be able to carry 750 passengers at an average speed of 250 kilometers per hour with a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. India plans to invest $19 billion in the new line. Japan will fund over $14 billion of the project, with a 0.1% interest loan to be repaid over the next 50 years. Analysts say constructing the bullet train will give a boost to infrastructure development in India's rapidly developing western industrial region and help with economic growth. Think third-hand smoke is harmless? Think again. Most people are familiar with the ill effects of first and secondhand smoke on the body, but a new study has found that even thirdhand exposure to tobacco smoke poses a health risk. Thirdhand smoke comes from exhaled cigarette residue being absorbed into surfaces, causing toxins to accumulate in clothing, curtains, carpet, and furniture. Bystanders can be exposed to the toxins through skin absorption, with children especially vulnerable, since they are often in close contact with household surfaces. Mice exposed to sections of fabric imbued with third-hand smoke were found to have liver damage after just one month. They suffered further molecular damage to both the liver and brain after two to six months. The exposure also increased insulin resistance in the mice and upped the release of the stress hormone epinephrine, making them prone to type 2 diabetes and immune fatigue. Though the research was conducted on animals, it nevertheless draws attention to the dangers of cigarette smoke even on a third-hand basis. Further studies should investigate the effects on humans and possibly determine what effect long-term exposure has on the body. Mech's loop hyperloop design could connect 42 million people. Need to get to Mexico City from Guadalajara in a hurry? Mech's loop hyperloop may be able to help out. Mexican consortium Mexloop is proposing a 330-mile hyperloop system that would connect four cities in central Mexico, Mexico City, Coelatalo, León, and Guadalajara. The trip would take about 38 minutes compared to the current six hours it now takes to drive between the two cities. Stations would be located close to airports, rail freight hubs, and train stations in order to maximize transportation infrastructure efficiency. According to Mexloop, a hyperloop system would only be two-thirds of the cost of a high-speed rail system. Mexloop's proposed system would provide a more efficient transportation system for 42 million people. The consortium also says building the Hyperloop would help boost the economy as well as ease traffic congestion. Researchers find plastic breaking fungus. New research coming out of China may hold the key to dealing with the world's massive plastic waste problem. Plastic is not easily biodegradable and can take thousands of years to decompose. A group of researchers found Aspergillus tubingensis, a common soil fungus, at a dump in Pakistan. Under laboratory conditions, it was shown to break down plastic in weeks, not years. Aspergillus tubingensis has previously been found in patients with lung conditions, such as cystic fibrosis. The fungus used its roots to break apart the plastic, but its effectiveness was found to be influenced by other factors, such as temperature and pH levels. Researchers say that tweaking these could pave the way for fungi to be used in waste treatment plants or in soils impacted by plastic. All the vaccine you'll need in one single shot. MIT has developed a drug delivery method that packs multiple doses in a single injection and could soon make multi-shot vaccines a thing of the past. Biodegradable polymers used in implants, sutures, and prosthetic devices were pressed into silicone molds to form tiny cups, each measuring 400 micrometers across. The cups are filled with vaccine and covered with a lid made from the same polymer. Heat is applied to fuse the cap and lid together, sealing the vaccine inside. Varying its chemical makeup allows the polymers to degrade at specific times, though all are delivered simultaneously via a single injection. Inside the body, the vaccine is released once the cup degrades. 
Lab tests on mice showed the polymer cups successfully releasing their payload in 9, 20, and 41 days without prior leakage. Researchers say the new technology could benefit patients in developing nations, who are often unable to travel frequently to healthcare facilities to complete their shots. It may also allow newborns to be given an injection, carrying one or two years' worth of vaccines, minimizing stressful, tear-filled doctor's visits for kids and parents alike. Asia's glaciers are shrinking. With Asian glaciers facing a massive melt by the end of the century, millions of people are at risk of water shortages, and it's all thanks to global warming. The high mountains of Asia lie in a region surrounding the Tibetan Plateau and contains the largest store of permanent ice outside the North and South Poles. Meltwater feeds into major rivers like the Indus, Yangtze, and Mekong, and are used for drinking, hydroelectric power, and irrigation. Scientists predict that Asian high mountain glaciers will lose a third of their mass by 2100 if the global temperature rises 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. If temperatures increase 3.5, 4, or 6 degrees, losses could reach 49, 51, and 65 percent respectively. Glacial loss could affect the region's water supply and lead to shortages. At the same time, accelerated melting could trigger intense flooding, especially when combined with climate change-induced heavy rains and super typhoons. High warming scenarios carry worse consequences, including massive sea level rise, floods, droughts, loss of species, and even disease. The only way to avoid such a dismal future is by minimizing global temperature rise. And for that, we need to double, even triple efforts to combat climate change. Pay your fare using only your hand. Are you one of those people that's always losing stuff like keys and tickets? Well, Sweden has found the solution. Around 3,000 Swedish commuters have had biometric microchips implanted in their hands in order to pay for train tickets. Commuters who elect to have the RFID chip implanted under the skin are able to have their tickets loaded onto the device. The implants use near-field communication technology, similar to contactless credit cards or mobile payments. When activated by a reader device a few centimeters away, information can be transferred between them using magnetic field induction. The train conductor then scans the microchip with a smartphone to complete and verify the ticket transaction. An estimated 20,000 people in Sweden already have implants and are using them to swipe in and out of the office and to pay for food. 